welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Linda. And it's Ow. your boy, Stanley. Look, say it with me. <laughs> they say it's, it's a, a big, big rich town. Yeah. yeah. I, I come from, from the Polish part. Listen, I've been waiting to hear that all yeah. freaking years. Seems like it's been but we 10 months, man. We back 10 power. months. Yeah. For anybody that's new to the family, we're Stan Lil and that. We're from Virginia. We yeah. do these. We don't take them too freaking personally. There's nah. some people that, you know, they dig real deep into this. They live this. We watch it and we get on camera. That's as far as yeah. we go with it. We don't do the. Like some people was like, are y'all going to do predictions? Are y'all going to do that? No. No, nah, just, just reviews and recap. That's, that's it. it. That's it. We just gonna come talk about it with y'all. And that's it. And that's it. So, let's get on into it. He leaves this one, so I'm gonna sit back in the cut. Okay. This episode pretty much stressed me out. Everyone is implicated. It really did stress <laughs> me out. At first, I was just like, okay, whatever. Yeah. And then, you know, right about the middle part, I was like, okay, let me raise up off this couch a little bit. Then, yeah. at the end, I was like, you know what? Dig a hole right beside Raina's grave. Exactly. And I got two, three people right off top. Just throw them in the hole. Just, I'm throw them in the hole. I'm done with them. They got to go. Throw they got to the go. And, and Nigerian butcher scotch is one of them. Yeah. The main one. <laughs> so we picked up pretty much we left off last season. We had the crime scene where Ray Ray was shot by Tariq. So we got all the detectives in there trying to solve this case. And pretty much we saw from last season that when Tariq shot Ray Ray, the bullet went in a hole in the wall. Hmm. So, at this point, they done retrieved the bullet from the freaking wall. And we see later on in the episode that Tasha and uh, Angela. Angela was talking. And so, at this point, Angela was like, you pretty much, you set me up. Mm -hmm. You got all this information uh, about Tariq's phone, the tracking, all this to set me up. And so, by this time, Tasha was like, no, that's wasn't what I was trying to do. Yeah, because in I, her mind, she yeah. was thinking that. I really wasn't tracing Tariq's phone. I was tracing Ray Ray's phone. And now all of a sudden, Ray Ray don't turn up missing. Yeah. What kind of game are you playing with me, my exactly. career, and my life? And it got me hung up in this way. And Tasha was like, nah, that wasn't what I was doing. This, this wasn't it. And then when she admitted to her, she said, you know what? Tariq killed Ray Ray. I said, oh. But at that point, she kind of had to admit it because Angela was thinking she was being set up. Cause she was like, I, I wanted to track Tariq's phone because I wanted to find him to stop him from killing Ray Ray. And he did it with my gun. Yeah. So this is when um that guy door <laughs> Angela was like, oh, ooh, now we really do have a problem. <laughs> because if your gun was, if your bullet was what we pulled out of that yeah. wall, yeah. remember when we went back way back when mm -hmm. and we retrieved your gun from your house, yep. there's a ballistics file on that gun. So exactly. as soon as they put it in there, it's going to be a perfect match. And Houston, we have a problem. Exactly. And pretty much, this is all going to link back to you in 24 to 30 hours. And they're going to know it's you. Tasha said, on that note, you got some, you got you some got, work to you do. You got to get rid of that evidence. And so, you know, of course, uh, uh, Angela is not feeling that because, you know, tampering with evidence. She could lose her job. She and just became go to prison. She, yeah, go to prison because she just became the head of criminal. So Tasha was like, pretty much, you ain't got a choice. Because if you don't do it, all of us going down. Thank you you. got to get rid of it. Yep. So later on, we see her in the office and she started logging in at this Haynes um, person. Gaines. Gaines person. And we don't know who that is. So she proceeds to delete the file. But she got a visitor. Yeah. This other detective that we don't know her name. But she back. Because she pretty much going around and finding all them in lies. Because every time mm -hmm. she asks questions, she never gets straight answers. They beat around the bush. Uh, and so, a lot of times, they didn't even see that she was present. Exactly. And a whole lot of stuff. So you telling her stuff that she's already seen. Yep. But you're lying about it. So, flag number one, she don't trust you. But the part that had me laughing is when she spoke to Angela in Spanish. I think it was Spanish. Yeah, I'm like, well, what, what? I said, uh, basically, uh, that's code for, I got you and I know you. I'm going to take you down. Yeah. I'm going to take you down. So, by this time, Tasha actually had thought that she had deleted the files because Tasha came and met her at the hotel. And she's going to find out she didn't do it. But we see later in the episode that finally, Angela went in and she deleted the file. That's because she knows it's her hard parts on the yeah, line. Yeah, because she knows all it's going to be linked back to her. So, we see later in the episode this kid um, that said he was Father Callahan's lookout. Man. And, um... Pretty much, uh, he was telling uh, Tell the timing. Tommy, Tommy that, hey, Father Callahan is dead. And Tommy like, what? 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 
But the part that tripped me out even before we got to this, when Dre let Crystal Bowl know that he had taken out Father Cat, he was like, What? Oh, you <laughs> killed the priest? You killed the priest? Wait, I said, oh, so that's where we draw the line in the sand here? Yes. But Chris, I mean, Father Callahan ain't hurt nobody. All nah. he do is feed the homeless in his soup kitchen. Exactly. And, and, run, a, and run a little drugs too. Yeah. yeah. So he only wanted to get out of the game because Dre started getting messy and, and wanted to be controlling and do stuff crazy. But so. Tommy, was, Tommy had a whole moment, boy. <laughs> and yeah. The, and the lookout guy said, he, you know, he's the only white guy that I trust. Tommy said, me too. Me and me too. The only good white guy I know. I said, yeah, because Tommy, you ain't a good white boy. Yeah. Tommy is invited to all the cookouts, though. Exactly. He can take um, R. Kelly's place and Bill Cosby's. <laughs> we don't want them at the cookouts anymore. So we see Ghost and them over at the church. So uh, Councilman, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, Tate. Tate is over there setting he up go. on how they're going to do this funeral. So they want the family at the front. Press is going to be over here. And Tasha like, wait, 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 Press, who said anything about Press being at my daughter's funeral? They was like, well, well, Ghost was like, this is going to be a good look for me and the councilman's new project for the city, you know. It's going to make us look better, get us more, no uh -huh. more donations, so we can make this thing. Tasha was like, I don't give a good God darn what y'all trying to do. I just want to bury my daughter and make peace with this. Uh huh. And the preacher was sitting there too like, you know, this is this, this is that. Because yeah. you know, he going to get a good old cut. He going to get a good cut. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. So it's kind of crazy because they have to bury her, cover their tracks, so it's almost like they... And look they, toward the future all yeah. at the same day on So time. it's like they can't grieve because they got to stay pretty much on their game not to get locked up. So Tasha ain't feeling none of this. So pretty much we see Tasha going back home and Keisha was there. And Keisha's like, okay, Tasha, you need to be straight with me. Because she, she never be straight with Keisha. Keisha been she loyal. Don't. Keisha let her run drugs out the freaking virgin. She didn't, she, she didn't let her. Well, she just did it. Yeah, she did it. But when she found out, she didn't stop her, though. No, but, I mean, she had that girl's life on the line. Yeah. That girl had to, had to move and be hidden for a while. Exactly. And that's how her time got going. So, so Tasha was like, the only thing... I need you to do is that when they come and ask you what me and Tariq was, I'm gonna tell you where we're gonna be because they never said I didn't gonna work out. So Keisha was almost like, I, I, I don't what? know if I wanna get involved in y'all boo skip no more because I had to hide the last time, like you just said. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I wanna get involved in y'all boo skip. But I forgot this part back at the church. They decided they wanted Tariq to do the eulogy. eulogy. I was like, what? what? Who and, thought of that? And everybody tried to chime in, was like, no, he no, not thought. No, 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 he, And no. he said, I'll do it. I'll do it. And they looked at, <laughs> Ghost look at him like, you motherfucker, if you, you try did. anything, <laughs> I will take your head clean off at <laughs> this goddamn church. <laughs> but, oh, I have forgot. Tasha had actually seen Kanan while they were actually trying to pick out, you know, what they were going to do at the funeral, do the yeah. arrangements, all of that. And she was looking like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. And she won't feel it, none of that. And nobody's talking to her about that. But it's the game that you in. But uh, we see y'all, uh, when Ghost and them got back home, they sat down to read like, no, you go this way. <laughs> you need to sit right here. And Ghost said, you need to tell me everything. How do you know Ray Ray? How long you known Ray Ray? Give me all of what y'all been doing. So Tariq pretty much told him, I, we, I, he pretty much came in the scene when I was messing with Kane and them. Mm -hmm. So... To make a long story short, pretty much Ghost is blaming Tariq for the death of his sister. Saying it's all your fault. And I was like, that's bullshit. It's all of y'all fault. Yeah, it's all of y'all fault. Matter of fact, because y'all got into this game, that's what ended up pulling Tariq into this mess. Because Kanan pretty much pulled Tariq in because he wanted to get back revenge on Ghost. Because mm -hmm. he got locked up. We already know that. So to blame this whole thing on him, that's crazy. That's not fair. That's crazy. And Tasha was like, no, we can't blame all this on him. And that's, that's the part that pissed me off. Yeah. He turned around and told Tasha, it's your fault. Yeah. You weren't watching him. Wait, what? Like, no. Now, I know that she's a kept woman. And, she, you know, stay-at-home mom. The responsibilities that she has is of the children. But just because they go astray don't mean it's the mama fault. Exactly. Y'all know these kids going to do whatever <clears throat> They want to do when they want to do. I don't care if you raise them in the church 24-7. Exactly. I don't care if you put them in the best private schools. 
Exactly. They gonna do what they want to do. Exactly. They are independent souls. <laughs> but that was such a bad time. Cause, the place cause, blame. Yeah, the place blame. Because Tariq, are, you know, we already know Tariq is out there and we pissed off at him. We want him gone. But this was the wrong time to blame the son for his goddamn sister's death. Because you know he grieving in his own little yeah. way. I mean, because I'm pretty sure he, he fought in himself because he the one that told her not to tell the parents, tell yeah. Ghost them about any of it. So she hit. Oh, yeah. And Tasha did confront him yeah. about that. Yeah. She, he, she was like, my daughter tells me everything. What was it that you told her to make her not tell me this? Mm -hmm. And Ghost said, uh-huh. He told her not to. That's what it was. Exactly. That's what he got yanked up. I said, hold on, Tariq. Don't don't get thrown out this window. Exactly. But that's a prime example of when a parent is looking at themselves through their children. The apple and don't they fall. Can't handle it. Yeah, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Hmm. So in other words, Tariq is pretty much turning into ghosts. Oh, he is. Cause he? cause pretty much when he saw his sister get shot, it's revenge it's like, time. It's I, I gotta get revenge. Just like ghost them do when somebody messes with anybody in the crew or anybody violates the family or disrespect us. It's over. They gone. So that's what Tariq wanted to handle itself because they was like, why you ain't tell us? Why you ain't tell Uncle Tommy? He didn't answer the question, but we he, 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 he know how they are now. He know how they roll. So he wanted to take do it himself. So, yeah. So then we have... Uh, Tommy going over to vi visit the guy Vince. Vince, yeah. Yeah, his name was Vince because Tommy ain't got no more crew. His last one was Father Callahan, the loyal one. Because we know Julio and all them is gone. Man, rest in peace yeah. Julio, man. Yeah, rest in peace Julio, man. <laughs> <laughs> he was a real one. <laughs> so, he, Tommy said, I got a real good deal for you. I cut you in. And he was like, why should I help you? And pretty much the guy said, well, I'll help you because of your daddy. You yeah. know, your dad is a good man. I'll help you, but I'm going to take 75%. So 75% of your weight. Yeah, of your weight. So he got 25% that he still need to figure out what he going to do with it. Yeah. And who's going to push that weight for him. So Tommy leaves him, go outside, and he see a couple of his guys and be like, I heard you guys were the baddest uh, mugs in the game. It's like, who's you? You don't need to worry about that. But I got a deal. Then I'm gonna pay you 60 G's. All, you ain't got to kill nobody. All you need to grab them and bring them to me. They was like, because at first they was like, all deals go through Vince first. Yeah. But when they start talking their money, you know. It was like, I'm listening. Huh? But then the guy said, no, not 60. Uh, 80. 80. He but said, this is where the problem is gonna come in at. Yeah. Teresa's sidekick, the one that is actually like bringing Tommy along and introducing him to their part of the organization and how they run things. He already told Tommy before they even went in there to talk to Vincent. These two guys are crazy as hell. Yeah. Mostly because they're young and you don't give a rat's ass when you're young. Exactly. But don't mess with them. Don't mess with them. What Tommy do when he got out to meeting with Vincent? Go mess right. with them. That's what Tommy did. <laughs> and homeboy saw that. So I'm like, this is going to pose a problem. Because yeah. you got your daddy's sidekick who don't trusted you enough to bring you around and tell you what to do and what not to do. As soon as he turns his back, you do what he told you not to do. Exactly. That's going to be That's a problem. That's Tommy. But Tommy always did ghosts like that. Ghosts say, ghost say go left, Tommy go right. Ghosts and Teresa are two different kind of people. Yeah, true that. <laughs> <laughs> true that. So... They got that working. So then we see uh, Keisha is pretty much sitting down trying to get all the pallbearers. And we still see Tasha is, is going through it. Mm -hmm. And so Keisha was like, you know, who the pallbearers? She named off all the people that's going to be the pallbearers. And then Keisha was like, you know what? I thought about what you said the other day. And I'll vouch for you. If they come and ask me where y'all was at, I'll tell them wherever you want me to be. Yeah. So that was yeah. a big relief for Tasha. Yeah, that was a, she was But like, I'm like. When you gonna tell her what you need her to know? Yeah. They can bust her here right now. You ain't told her. Yeah. So she never she never told her. So now at this point, we are at the funeral. Uh -huh. And yeah. I think we're at the funeral. And of course you know at every black person funeral they gotta sing that sad music. You 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 have every teacher going in there not to cry, but once that organ and that sad music get to going. Uh, it's over. 
And they prayed, <laughs> and you gonna have that soloist that can blow pressure low. Yeah, uh huh. Take my hand. Yep. And you be sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> so they come on down the aisle. Everybody gets set up. And heck, I'm timing. Late. late. I said timing. Been around black people there, too uh -huh. long. Come late. So he going to try to sit up front with the family and, hey, come councilman, no, you can't sit up here. I've got the cameras. We need to make all this look legit. And Tasha was like, like no, 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 this, no, 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 no. I don't care nothing about this. This is my that. brother. That's Raina's godfather. Yeah. He's going to be on the front row with us. And Tommy said, you know what? Then he right. I was like, this is not the place. It's like, Tommy? Tommy is humbling himself? I said, Tommy going to kill councilman. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> say, say he good right now, but he going to get him after a while. Mm-hmm. So Tommy goes to see sit on the back row. The preacher gets up and was like, why is Raina dead? Who did this? Why? Then it's Tariq's turn. And Tariq get up there. He start off real good. Everybody was like, don't But they were looking like, but don't you say nothing. Don't you tell on us. And so he ended his speech with what would Raina do? And he had like, he was toe up and couldn't talk no more. And proceeds to run to the bathroom. And Keisha runs behind him. And he runs in to text Dre. But the reason why he went to text Dre, because I remember at the, and, and, and the funeral, and Tommy reaches over to tell Ghost, everything is pretty much in the works. Because we didn't touch on this. Yeah. But <laughs> Kanan, Tommy, and Ghost oh, that's right. yeah. had came up with a plan of a way to get Dre. Because they know Dre is behind a whole bunch of yeah. the skit. And Dre would expect that some black ones will come after him to try to take him down. So now that Tommy has the Italians behind him, Dre would never see any Italians coming for him. Before exactly. he, by the time he see them, it's going to be, be too, too late. late. So that's, what that, that's the angle that they were coming in on. Now, I don't know if Tariq knew all of that. Yeah, I, I have no idea. But he texted him, run. I was so mad. I was like, what are you doing? We're going to finally get him and you're going to screw it up again. And then I started thinking, was this part of the plan? Yeah, it was part of the plan. So, so when Drake run him like that. Yeah. So when Dre turned around, saw the black dudes, he took off running. And then we thought about it. It was like, he going to run right into the hands of the got down the tigers, which he did. And they bucked it up. Bucked it right up. Why are you going to take and throw a sheet over? You should have knocked him out. And so patting him down first. Yeah, uh, yeah. So they throw the sheet over his head trying to tape him up. And he pulled a gun out and shoot one of them and knock the other one out. Now they gone. And, so like, and now, basically, Tariq don't toll on his family. Yeah. That, hey, my family was behind all of this. Because how else would he know this information? He wouldn't know it. Yeah. So now Dre knows everything that he needs to know to come after <clears throat> Ghost and the family. Exactly. So... We trying, like I said, we trying to figure out now was that a part of the plan to get him to run, or was Tariq trying to cover his own tail so when it all gets back, um, if if uh, Dre come and say, "Hey, you the one that set me up," he be like, "No, I." Like, I the one to text you and gave you a head up to run. But it's almost like he had been talking to Dre about something because if he just said tech run, how would Dre know what I'm running from? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who he know to be looking for? So I. I it's, and it's been a year, so yeah. charge it to my head, not my yeah, heart. Yeah, it could be something <laughs> that we missing from from um from last seat. From last seat. So Dre gets them. So we get to the last scene. Uh Ghost is at Raina's um uh, grave, grave and he's apologizing. I'm so sorry. Oh, but before so that, sorry. I ain't mean I was, you going, I was going back to that. But Tasha. Yeah, I was okay. going back to that. I get uh, ready to say. So yeah, he was at, at the grave site, but meanwhile while he's at the grave site, hey, come on, uh, Mr. Snake in the Grass, Silverman. <laughs> what? <laughs> Silver. I'm going to call him Silverman. Uh, him and Tasha talking, he was like, um, I was supposed to be in protecting ghosts, but fuck all that. I'm going to protect you. And they kiss. And her mama saw it. And her mama's came and her mama and come like, here like, what are you doing? She was like, Mom, you ain't gonna understand. You ain't gonna understand. It's complicated, which it is. And her mama was like, Bullshit. Uh huh. This is uh, a church. Yeah. Your daughter's funeral. Your husband is over there. And, and you can't hear kissing. kissing on another man. What does this look like? Yeah. So we got ghosts at the gravesite. He's apologizing. And we see this dude walk up. I was like, I know that's not Drake. 
I know it ain't. I know it's not Dre. I know it ain't. No, he ain't. He ain't that bold. He ain't that stupid. I know it ain't Dre the dinosaur. Yeah, it ain't him. God don't it is him. I was hot. Here he come. And Ghost was like, you, you picked the wrong time to show up. You shouldn't have came here. He's like, no. You should have never sent your crew after me. Because I got the whole Jimenez, Jimenez. Jimenez cartel back in me. So I'm and under their full protection. Under their full protection. So if you come after me again, your whole family is dead. But meanwhile, <laughs> we, see, <laughs> we see Tommy going back to the apartment. He got a call. Then we see uh, Candy coming out the club with this uh, chick. He look on the freaking windshield. He got a card. And then Dre proceeds to give Ghost a card in his pocket. And then he just left in that for and so long. come after me. Your whole family's dead. I'm like... I'm, it, this listen, here we point. go again. This is me. Sometimes you just got to take your losses and tuck your tail between your legs. And just go. And go. Yeah. This is a point where... Me, if I was Nigerian butterscotch, yeah. I would be like, you know what? I know you tried to kill me and whatnot. I, I'm, I'm out. Let's yeah. just call a truce. Yeah. But now, now, you don't call the hit on this man's whole freaking family. Whole family. And the only and thing that he got going for him is that Jimenez is protecting him. Yep. I don't know how this is going to work out and go in them favor to St. Patrick's. Time it. I don't know, but yeah. Hey, we wouldn't be sitting here watching Power if, if it wasn't we wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here like we could have took him out. So, yeah, we yeah we could have ended it. It could have been today. Yeah, it could have been over. Tommy, your people ain't scared. They yeah. fucked the job up, Bucked and you paid them eighty thousand dollars to do so. Yep. I hope you ain't pay him yet. But I first hope. of all, Tommy should have just let them take him out. Yeah. He wanted him to bring them to him so he can take them out. You know what? Just bring the body to me. Yeah. So this this is going to be a very, very interesting a, a very interesting season to see where they're going to take this. Yeah. Because if y'all, I didn't talk about this, but I remember, um, you remember, um, because Ghost that had went to, to kill Dre one time, but they failed because uh, Dre was waiting on them and mama, uh, he got shot. Yeah. So when he went home, washed up, Tosh was like, what's going on? And he was she like, nothing. Tell her nothing. He was like, ain't nothing, nothing, ain't nothing. You got shot. So Ghost was like, I'm gonna feel much better once we kill Dre. Tasha said, I ain't mm. never gonna feel better. So it's almost like Tasha is the wiped her hands with the game. It's like, but it's once a we get too late. Yeah. So it's like, are they gonna get out this game alive, or are they pretty much boxed in where they ain't never gonna be able to get out? Can seem like every time they try to get out, skit always happens. But you know what was funny to me? Because of course, you know, when you in that game, you can't go to the hospital and say, yeah, I got shot. Nah. I want to report. So they had the, um, the doctor to come <laughs> on the ground. And here come Proctor. Uh-huh. And they trying to talk all this stuff around Proctor. Proctor said, la, 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 la. I don't want to know. La, I can't he's, hear it. He said, I don't know who the F he is, and I don't want to know. Because what? Um, right now... I'm not your lawyer, so we don't have those privileges going on right here. So I'm trying I to get my license back. Yeah, because you know. I ain't even supposed to be around y'all. Because <laughs> you know Mark is after his home party. Yep. Proctor was like, and Angela is after God doing um, after Proctor. Poe Proctor. Yeah. All he wanted to do was be a shady lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> ain't that what they're supposed to be? And make some paper. And make some paper and snort his little coke or whatever it is they do. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, y'all, we here for this season, man. Good first opener. We don't know what the hell gonna happen, but like you said, that's why we're here for power. Straight but straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty self. Two up, two, two down. down. Holla.